point. Better watch out! Yikes! That makes it 40 30. Came from. Game point. What's up everyone, I'm Dan and many thanks to Game Mill Entertainment for the review code for Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports Deluxe Edition on the Nintendo Switch. Wacky World of Sports brings together the charm and slapstick humour of the beloved Looney Tunes universe with the excitement of four sports. Players can pick from nine classic characters like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck and Taz to engage in wacky and chaotic versions of basketball, football, golf and tennis. The game features power-ups, traps and obstacles making each match a frantic and unpredictable affair. However, while the presentation is good for the most part and the game certainly has its fun moments, there are some key issues that prevent it from standing out in a crowded market, especially at its price point. One of the strongest aspects of Wacky World of Sports is its visual presentation. The character animations are well done and perfectly capture the essence of each Looney Tune character. Whether it's Bugs Bunny outwitting his opponents with his signature mischievous grin or Taz spinning into a whirlwind of chaos, the attention to detail is impressive and makes this one feel that it's not just a cheap cash grab. The vibrant colours and familiar backdrops like Roadrunner's Canyon and Foghorn's Farm bring Looney Tunes and Universe to life, making fans of the show feel right at home. The music and voices also deserve praise, the iconic voice lines from characters like Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny add charm and nostalgia to the experience. The background music complements the action keeping the energy high throughout each game. From the zany sound effects of acme contraptions to the comical grunts and shouts during intense sports moments, the audio design adds layers to the overall atmosphere. In terms of gameplay, it excels in one area, simplicity. The controls are intuitive and easy to learn, making the game accessible for players of all skill levels. Whether you're playing basketball, football, golf or tennis, the controls are consistent across the different modes allowing players to jump in and start having fun right away. This makes the game especially suited for younger audiences or casual gamers who want to experience light-hearted fun without the steep learning curve found in more serious sports games. I did however find that in some games like when playing football, the character movements can feel slightly cumbersome. One of the game's biggest selling points is the ability to play local co-op with up to four players. Playing against friends and family in the game's chaotic version of sports is undeniably entertaining. Whether you're dodging falling anvils or using Acme power-ups to foil your opponent's plans, the unpredictability of each match keeps things interesting. The game's blend of fast-paced action and Looney Tunes humour is perfect for group settings, where the fun comes less from competitive play and more from the over-the-top antics that unfold. The diverse roster of 9 characters adds some replay value with each one offering different playstyles. You can zip around as Roadrunner, overpower your opponents with Taz's brute force, or outsmart everyone as Wily e. Coyote. This variety lets players experiment with different strategies, though most of the depth lies in the multiplayer rather than the solo experience. I would have also liked to have seen more characters available and be able to be unlocked. Unfortunately, the solo experience in Wacky World of Sports falls short due to the game's painfully inadequate AI. While the game is fun with friends, the AI-controlled characters are simply not up to par. They frequently make poor decisions, stand idle or fail to respond in ways that make playing alone more frustrating than enjoyable. Whether you're playing basketball, tennis or football, the AI often feels like it's holding you back rather than providing a challenge or any help. As a result, it's hard to recommend this game for those who primarily play solo. In contrast to other sports games on the market which offer robust single player modes and finely tuned AI opponents, Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports lacks depth to keep players engaged for long periods when playing alone. This makes the game feel incomplete unless you have friends or family readily available to join in on the fun. Lengthy load times also rear their ugly head. Despite being a fairly simple arcade style game, the time it takes to load into matches or between levels or even the menu in some cases is surprisingly long. This breaks up the flow of the game, especially when you're playing in a group and just want to jump into the next match. It's a minor issue in the grand scheme, but it does detract from the overall experience, especially when you're playing short, fast paced sports matches. At its core, Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports Deluxe Edition is aimed at a younger audience or fans of the Looney Tunes franchise. The wacky, unpredictable nature of the game combined with the easy to learn controls make it perfect for kids or casual gamers looking for light-hearted fun. However, there are better options out there when it comes to arcade sports games, especially given the price point of this title. While the presentation is solid and multiplayer can be fun, the game's shortcomings in AI, solo play, 
and loading times make it hard to justify the price for those looking for a more well-rounded sports experience. While it might be worth picking up for younger audiences or fans, I would say if you're looking for a more in-depth experience, you may want to explore other options. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports Deluxe Edition releases on the 27th of September priced at $39.99 in the UK and $49.99 in the US on the Nintendo eShop. If you like this review, do be sure to leave a like as it helps the channel. Thank you as always for watching, I appreciate everyone that does, and until next time. You ever play sports, Ralph? Nah, not really the athletic type, Sam. lost the ball. The pass is good. Ooh, the ball snatched uh, away. Uh, oh, right? <laughs> what? Ah! Wow, I thought for sure that it scored. Yeah!